In this video, we want to see how a macro can read the content of a cell. So we're going to try to read the content of those uh, different cells here uh, in uh, many uh, different ways. So let's switch to uh, VBA. Here, as you can see, we have mainly uh, two variables, one to identify the worksheet we want to work with, and then one as a variant to um, identify the cell value. The first uh, way uh, to do so is going to be by identifying the worksheet here by its position, so the number one. And then we're going to find the cell value from the range name. So we're going to uh, select here WS sheet, so the variable dot range, and then we're going to select here A1. Using the message box, we're going to displace the value of uh, this uh, cell value variable here. The uh, second method is using uh, another way to actually uh, select the cell and we're not going to use range A1 here but we're going to select dot cells and then one comma one. The first one is the row, so row number one and the second one here is the column, so column number one which is the equivalent of A1. Finally, the test number three is just to select the cell from a different perspective, which is here we're going to select the number uh, of the row and afterwards we're going to uh, identify with the quotes and uh, uppercase the letter of the column instead of the uh, number. So when I'm launching the macro, we can clearly see that test one is A1 by text, test one, two is also the same and test three is also the same. Now what happens is we can quickly uh, change things. So for the test two, I'm just going to put uh, the row number two and for the test three, I'm just going to put the column B. And now relaunching the uh, macro here, we have test one, A1 my text, which is A1. Test two is test, which is A2, which, is, which matches the changes I made in the macro. And the test three is test to do B1, which is also what I changed. 